So hello, um, sorry I'm not fluent in English, so I will uh, read my uh, notes. Uh, I will uh, talk about uh, matching work between tables coming from different fields recorded systems used in uh, archaeolo preventive archaeology. After a quick presentation of the context of field recording system at uh, INRAP, I will present the steps of these two work done on uh, two major uh, databases, EDARC and uh, CAVIA. It's uh, therefore a question of explaining models of the tables of these databases. Then the translation that was man, uh, made on the 16 uh, mapping of these uh, models. Uh, and we will insist in the end uh, on the problems encountered uh, and resulting uh, proposals. Uh, in RAP, uh, National Institute of Preventive Archaeological Research is a public institution under the supervision of the French Ministry of Research and the Ministry of Culture and uh, Communication. Archaeologists had to make a diagnostic sorry, diagnostic take right, test before a development work of the territory and then excavate land rich in archaeological uh, remains before destruction. Currently, several uh, different field recording systems are used by archaeologists. Four of them uh, have been selected for this work. BDA, archaeological database, CADOC, archaeological site and documentation, CISLAT, field uh, system developed as part of a school excavation site in the south of France, and uh, spreadsheets created by different archaeologists uh, or specialists. A comparative uh, study has been carried out between these different systems. Actually, with a few exceptions, all of them deal with the same entities since archaeology is based on uh, common protocols. The scientific and technical department of the institute has therefore developed a database design to provide an answer to heterogeneity of data models and various systems. It's uh, EDARC, Archaeological Data Registration. EDARC has been taught to be used in different contexts and across various data. It uses an internet browser but never requires access to a connection. The data record is stored in a local SQLite database which allows interfacing into a GIS software. And data is exported in XML uh, format. In EDAC, uh, even main tables have been chosen, those that describe archaeological, archaeological data. The tables operation, metadata, trends, survey, stratigraphic unit, fact, archaeological site, sampling, object, design, and photo. These tables give information about history of the archaeological site they document. They give information of the metadata of archaeological operation and its database. They give information on the raw data direct on the site and on the data interpreted by archaeologists. Taking into account uh, time and our ongoing training in this uh, area, it was decided to carry out mapping using the CEDOC CRM common ontology. And since uh, archaeology is essentially specialized, we want to uh, use CRM uh, Archeo, CRM Geo extensions. And we use also the CRM SCI extension in order to characterize metadata. As you can see on the screen, the data physical model was realized thanks to uh, the 3M software developed by the Force Institute. The 11 tables were mapped by defined first entities as entrants of over uh, domain property range triplets. 
We also want to have a look of fields of attribute tables on the three main spatial layers of data produced for each archaeological sites and operations. In this case, it's uh, data of a medieval site located in the city of uh, Le Mans. It is a diagnostic operation at a place near to the gardens of uh, the cathedral. Since 2013, the systematization of the use of a GI, GI, this GI, I, sorry, allows to constitute a catalog of the spatial data produced by uh, the institute. Its name is uh, Caviar. Uh, the main layers of each operations are gathered in a post-Gest, post SQL server and constitute the main data of the catalog. Perimeters as a surface which have to be investigated by an operator or another. The second one is digging or opening, uh, that is to say survey or trends. And archaeological observations, especially represented with polygons. Like EDARC, uh, the input entities are E25 monument features for the shape of remains. SP6 declarative place uh, defense spatial entities, the shape opening specified in IN27 site, and the shape perimeter uh, specified in uh, A1 excavated process unit. In 3M, a uh, link can be made to the maze application, which allows to visualize the analysis of mapping and to obtain graphs. Here we can observe graphs from the mapping of EDAR database and of uh, three immense shape files from Caviar. For each of tables, we respect the association with the input entities associated with each table explained previously and also between different other mapping in order to respect the meaning as associated uh, with each entity. And especially the most difficult thing uh, was this choice of the first entity as input. Behind formalisms of Sidox CRM, there is existence of a variety of users and of semantic possibilities through extensions. For the mapping of the metadata table, for example here, I referred to the, the entity of E7 activity since metadata are related to preventive archaeological activity. However, some of them characterize the technical support itself, that is to say, a database. George Bruce Bruceker, sorry, <laughs> who's aware uh, with the SIDOG dig extension, use it as input and choose the entity D1 digital object. We both get a given price. Therefore, we wondered about the relevance of different mapping that is possible to produce and about important role to choose the first entity. This same observation appeared during the mapping of the operation uh, table. In the first case, uh, my colleague Christophe Tiffery chose the entity E7 activity. After knowing uh, extension, I hope for uh, the entity if 53 place since it offered a better declination of the subject of archaeological operation with uh, the CRM uh, GRO and RQ. Indeed, the fact is that an ontology functions as a tetheris. Also, a large part of this study was dedicated to the appropriation of a nested triplet domain property range. I really want to understand links with uh, properties to get closer to the primary meaning of each uh, field database. So in my opinion, final entities will take more uh, meaning if we specified characteristic and domains to which they refer. Uh, here, for example, A1 excavation process unit and SP3 uh, reference space. 
All table sections have been explained and I want to emphasize uh, the richness that allows uh, both to describe sources, rights, name, locations, persons, and the fact of dating remains, but it uh, is, well, sorry, which is essential in archaeology. Uh, the only drawback remain uh, expression of uncertainty, what we uh, are called estimated dates. But I'm not sure about the uh, association I made. To express the difference between estimated and certain date, I introduced the entity of E2 temporal entity before the traditional E52 time span. Linked to the subject of archaeological observation and interpretation of extents, symbols, and objects, I would like to stress the importance of using the CRM SCI extension in the presence of uh, the entities S4 observation and S6 data evaluation. Regarding mapping of shapefiles, I treat them as the same way of their database counterparts, uh, I focused on describing space. Here, for example, the reference entity is uh, SP6 declarative place. Usual uh, references follow to archaeology, to interpretation, to document, and to other spatial references. The only difference is, um, and not the least, the possibility to refer to referring to the W the well-known text format through the CRM geo. Associated with attribute table of shape files, this is a standard text format uh, that stores information such as coordinate system reference, geometry type, and maximum extent of uh, vector geometric object. I would like to talk about a uh, fact of expression type of things. When previous uh, entity is clearly defined, such as A8 stratigraphic unit or A22 man-made object, entities uh, like E55 type or E17 type assignment are good enough. But as a part of the description of dimension, measurements, shape, and orientation for trenches or objects, these entities are not precise enough and there are no refined properties. Also, as these categories are used by any researchers, could we consider of, uh, the possibility of creation of our entities inside of CRM for length, width, or depth, uh, or in the CRM geo for forms or orientations? Uh, yes. Uh, an overpoint, uncertainty type, it's a recurrent subject in archaeology because they are depending on the context of search. Data are often incomplete and can be difficult to interpret. Also, in terms of uncertainty related to the interpretation of women's types, US or facts, how to express it. Could we also create new entities? I use S9 property type here, associated to comment of uncertain type, but it doesn't uh, account to initial semantics. Last problem, uh, and at the least in archaeology, uh, the one refers to relative uh, chronology. At least three items uh, structure stratigraphic diagrams. U.S. section curiously described, and two other items, U.S. on it and U.S. above it. Even if there's a lot of property which could make it possible to move toward this, it appears that triplets domain range type, uh, type uh, still remain the same. In conclusion, List the different observation and problems uh, mentioned. To begin, let us recall the interest of the choice of the main entity. It's important to explain all the main sections. Then what is fundamental for realization of mapping? Technical support, database or geo databases, activity that describe it or discipline that causes it. 
Then we uh, saw that it was difficult to get as close as possible to the primary meaning of the field table names. So how to preserve a best, best semantic difference emitted by community of archaeologists. For example, and by following, when we want to associate a type of category, like uh, E55 type before in, is the S9 property type of the CRM SCI still not too general? In addition, we consider development of specific entities in SIDOC CRM or in extensions uh, related to dimensions types. Similarly, for CRM Archeo, questions still the same about stratigraphic relationships. Finally, uh, is attribute data linked to spatial layers must be directly related to spatial phenomena like spatial extent resolution coordinates through CRM GR, or must they be different compare their technical support and the use of extensions like uh, CRM SRI or CRM DIG. The project uh, will be in the next month to redo mapping of uh, these three shape files by using the CRM DIG to observe if mapping starting with an uh, entity such as the D1 digital object could be linked to CRM uh, zero entities. And it's the real conclusion. To clarify and advance on these topics, uh, it's also considered to redo the mapping of metadata table using CRM dig extension and to apply it to each metadata feeds on other tables. I also hope that other colleagues will be able to join these projects in order to compare several mapping and especially to generalize it to Caviar and to other interrupts the databases. And later, it will be time to develop a script to allow the proper exploitation and interrogation of archaeological data present in these databases. Thank you for your attention. Thank you.